Sutia. Charrington goes back, finds Soliola. Can she stretch out? She can oh. indeed. They were set up to the right. Ruben Charrington goes to the left, picks up young Mona Lisa Soliola, and she sticks the head out and goes bang. Well, what it, that was a set move, Sully. You can tell. They were all lined out to do it. Charrington saw it on the left. Soliola wanted it, and she's got the strength. She ran with power and intent and places that ball down. Only 19 years of age, I think, Mona Lisa is. Look at that. Look at that. I can see the grass. I can see the try line, and I make no mistake, no little bobble. I put that over for a very well-deserved try there for the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs to get into the lead the second time this match at 8-4 with a kick to come. Absolutely. Preston makes good metres again. 30 out on the last. Mona Lisa. No, it's not Mona Lisa. Preston. High. Murphy. Will she contest it? There's Mona Lisa there. She oh. flicks it out the back. Preston, she'll keep it alive again. It's been played at by Pearson. Can they dive on it? The Bulldogs, they can't. Pearson ricocheted off her legs, but still managed to chase that ball down. It's a good run from Tegan Berry. Every tackle on Tegan Berry is a try-saving tackle. We'll see this in the Harvey Norman re replay. Yeah, Preston appears to have gotten that ball away, but was the, was the player committed to the tackle, or is it the next bit of footage here that we're looking at? Yep. Okay, here's Preston with the ball. Ooh, a bit of a head clash there. That's got to hurt Pearson, and it does. Kick on the spot, says play the football. Wilson, Charrington, Charrington, Soliola looking for a double, and gets it. Well, she hit a nice pass at speed off Kennedy Charrington. And as we said, Mona Lisa, Soliola, grabs a double in the second half. Well, as you said, Sally, she, she copped a great pass there. But you've got to be running those great lines in order to pull those moves off. And she goes over Mona Lisa, Soliola. It certainly is, and it takes it out to 14-8. With a kick to come, very, very important. Wow, she's she's at the eldest of ten siblings is Mona Lisa Soliola. Dogs in the state in New South Wales, under 19 origin. So big future ahead of her. Oh, big future ahead of her. Gonna be a fair role model. The eldest of ten. Yeah. Wow. And what about all the young players looking up to her now? Yeah, absolutely. She's putting on a great performance today. TV starting at 11 a.m. As now the Bulldogs look to add some more points. Soliola looking for a treble. She runs a great line, gets no, a great she? ball. The referee's got something here though. Does she play a great ball or not? No, it's another penalty. That sounded. And that's it. The Canterbury backs down. Bulldogs are in the next week's Harvey Norman New South Wales Women's Premiership with a 16-8 victory. And as I said, sets it up next week. The Women's Country Championship at 11 a.m. Monero take on Newcastle Maitland. 12:40, 4:15. The Harvey Norman Tashiga Cup. Bulldogs taking on the Sydney Roosters Indigenous. And then 6 p.m. The Harvey Norman Women's New South Wales Rugby League Grand Final Mountie taking on the Bulldogs. Bulldogs heavily involved in the day, Tars. Well, not only, yes, in the Grand Final day, of course, well represented are the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. But what a what a big day. Mona Lisa Soliola scoring a double. You're watching her next week. So there's, we look forward. There's the second of them. And she plants the ball down. Had two cracking Harvey Norman women's semi finals, which lead us back here next week. And it will be the Mounties taking on the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs a week out. What do you think, Tasha? I think a week's too long to wait, but I think the players need, I think they need two, they're going to want a month's rest. But no, they'll.